Hello everyone, I am Shubham and welcome to Pentest Guide. In this video, we are going to demonstrate some vulnerabilities from VAMPI. Uh, we are going to focus on a list of vulnerabilities uh, available in VAMPI, which is a skill injection, unauthorized password chain. Then we are going to focus on mass assignment. And finally, we are going to focus on excessive data exposure. Okay, so uh, if you uh, don't have any idea uh, about this, how to set up VMPI and what it is, so you can simply go with the part one first and then you can uh, continue with this video. Okay, so uh, I'm already uh, set up uh, everything over here. So let me check uh, my API is working or not. Yeah, it's uh, working fine. Okay, so I'm going to create uh, uh, some dummy data for uh, our testing purpose. Okay, so here uh, you can uh, you can simply click on this uh, create and populate the data uh, database with the dummy data. So it will create a few account for us. Okay, and you can check over here the database is populated. Okay, so after that. Uh, okay let's let's uh, dig into the username and we, we can simply retrieve user all user by uh, username but we unfortunately we don't have any user and i'm not going to create a user for now okay so let's check here we have retrieve all the user things so let's try to retrieve uh, all user first Okay, so uh, we, we are getting a uh, username along with the email IDs. So obviously this thing is really helpful if you are doing uh, some some kind of sort of pen testing on API or a web application. So it, it may uh, give you some, some more information about like uh, what we can say about the application that uh, if you are getting username and password we can simply go with the brute force things and we can guess the password and all things okay so uh, here we have the another thing which is uh, retrieve all the details obviously this is a uh, totally uh, lab scenario so uh, the things are really easy over here uh, in the real time or in the in the real time scenario you need to map the application and you need to focus uh, which endpoint you need to uh, simply check for these things okay so uh, here we have a simple debug thing over here or function we, we are uh, simply going to send a request with this and here uh, we we simply got a username and password okay so with the uh, email IDs and all okay and uh, main thing we are we are getting a password so this vulnerability we can simply say uh, kind of what excessive data exposure okay uh, if a developer simply uh, forgot a, a endpoint set an endpoint without authentication or with authentication maybe so it may possible you can check other user data which we already seen in uh, our previous video which is all about bola okay uh, and uh, you can directly check uh, endpoint without any kind of authentication or uh, authorization okay so that uh, simply comes in what sensitive or excessive data exposure okay so uh, same request uh, we are capturing in our bob suit Okay, so uh, I'm not using Bob suit uh, lots over here, but you can check over here that we are we are getting the same uh, response as uh, as per our uh, we we are getting in our what postman. Okay, so another thing, uh, yeah, uh, we have now we have a uh, username and password, and we have two different user over here. One is a normal user. Uh, and another one is administrator user okay which is admin so let's let's try to uh, yeah we, we can we can simply check uh, try to retrieve detail by using by username obviously this is uh, ridiculous for now because uh, uh, we already 
got all the details of our user but i'm simply showing this to you okay so uh yeah we, we can simply enumerate the users by using their username okay if we know the uh, the username of any user or any person we can simply check uh, the email ids and all uh, it may uh, it may fi find this this kind of uh, things in real time application okay so uh, in that you may get uh, lots of things like email address uh, email uh, email address and uh, their physical address phone number and other things okay so let's try to uh, delete user by by their username okay but i think so uh, yeah for this we we required an administrator access okay so we have we will uh, try that later okay so let's uh, let's uh, let's log in first and let's yeah i'm going to log in over here with the username name and pass name okay so yeah over here i need to provide a username which is name one and a password which is pass one and i'm going to send it and we we got a simply a uh, simple jw token over here okay so i'm going to copy this and let's try to uh, update a user email okay so in that i'm i'm going to try uh, to update another user email okay so uh, let's give a username value which is name two and i'm providing the authorization token uh, which we uh, got from user uh, first which is name first okay so let's uh, let's include uh, uh, email address over here so i'm going to queue test at the rate pen test guy dot in okay so before that let's check uh yeah you can check over here in bob suite or simply in postman that uh the the email address for the uh name to is what name to add it uh, mail.com and for the name one is also a name one may sorry uh, it's a mail one address mail.com okay mail one and mail two okay so let's check whether it will affect on the other user or not okay so i'm going to send it okay so it simply uh, give the status code it is uh, 204 okay so let's let's check uh, yeah we we can simply check in postman but uh, i also uh, want to show you the things in bob suit itself okay okay so uh, there is uh, here we are not able to change uh, the another user details so it simply change uh, the user detail itself okay so it's not vulnerable over here at this endpoint but let's try to uh, try to uh, what we can say test it on another endpoint which is about update user password okay so let's open it and yeah obviously uh, we, we i'm going to provide a uh, token of the user first and i am providing a value oops a value of uh, okay name two which is second user okay already provided uh, let's provide the password value also which i'm providing at okay let's click on send request yeah uh, we we can also do the same thing in bob suite but uh, for that we need to send each and 
every request uh, first or each and every method first and then all the method we can collect in the bob suit or sap itself and we, we can perform a text uh, sorry testing on it yeah okay so uh, let's verify it over uh, here in bob suite okay so let's click on send request and you can check over here that we are we, we can simply change uh, the other user password okay so uh, we can uh, now we can simply map the vulnerabilities like if we, we are simply able to get the user detail or simply a username so we we can simply change their password so that uh, will be a kind of what account taker here over here okay so uh, obviously attacker can take over any user account okay so this will be a one kind of vulnerability over here okay so let's try uh, the another thing okay so the other thing uh, over here is uh, that we, we are simply going to register a new user but first uh, i want to explain you something that you can check over here that uh, there is a parameter which is admin and it simply uh, shows a value uh, like kind of boolean value which is true or false okay so uh, what happen in uh, if we go and check in api security.io and we, we we can simply check in mass assignment which is api 6 2019 okay so according to this if a, a user or attacker simply send uh, some extra data okay and api is not uh, filter uh, filter uh, filtering or whitelisting that uh, data properly so that can be a kind of what uh, issue over there okay or it may cause any issue it's depend on what it's depend on the scenario totally okay so over here uh, attacker can simply send admin value which will be a true or false obviously if we are creating a user so that will be a normal user by default okay that will be a not a administrator user so let's try to create a admin user with uh, via providing a simple extra parameter uh, which is admin with the value true over there okay so i'm providing a simple data a raw data over here which will what test test and uh, test at the rate pen test guy dotting yeah uh, according to mass assignment i am also going to provide uh, some extra value or some extra parameter over here which is admin and set the value of the admin is what true okay so if we click on send we are simply uh, got a success message over here okay that our uh, user is successfully registered so let's check let's verify in uh, our bob suite so uh, here we we can simply check that admin is equal to true and uh, we got what uh, all the information over here so we are we are uh, successfully able to create an admin account with uh, with providing what some extra information only okay so after that let's uh, perform our last vulnerability which is a skill injection which is available on uh, on what uh, this get method uh, with with what with uh, this particular user name parameter okay so let's send uh, this particular request to the repeater and okay let's try to send it uh, normal first okay so we we are getting our data over here so let's try to uh, send uh, the request with a simple single code and we, we are getting what internal server error okay so after that i am simply uh, giving a really simple sql injection bypass uh, payload over here okay so uh, we are successfully able to what uh, perform SQL injection over here. The same thing we, we can simply uh, go and 
performed by SQL map so let's perform it so uh, obviously I am using SQL map on Windows but you can use it on Kali Linux or any other uh, Linux layer uh, which will be uh, your favorite one okay so let me uh, change my directory first and let me go to the tools then after that SQL map yeah and I'm going to run it uh, with the help of python 2.7 skillmap.py-u is username okay so I'm going to provide a URL which will be our IP address which is 192.168.1.8 along with the port number 5000 and uh, we also need to provide users then after that version 1 and name okay so uh, for this uh, I'm not going to uh, get anything like uh, databases and all I'm simply performing a batch operation over here okay so let's run it okay hit enter and okay so um, i think so yeah i think so there is something yeah sorry i provide a name over here i need to provide a name one um, i don't think so that matter but and uh, you can check over we, we are simply able to get the uh, types so first one is what boolean based blind and another one is what uh, union query okay so i hope you enjoy this video if you did uh, please share it with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos okay and that's it for this video. See you in the next video.